Hey, this is Rick from Outdoor Emergencies at HikingEmergencyBeacon.com. And let's talk weather forecast today on the new Garmin GPS Map 67i. But before we get into all that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put up new videos. All right, we're gonna look at weather both on the device itself and on my smartphone. So let's go into the main menu and we're gonna go down to weather. Now there's two types of weather here. There's in-reach weather and active weather. So under in-reach weather. All right, it says new forecast and there's a my location premium and it was from Monday. So that's an old forecast. We want to go to new forecast. Now here's where you can select basic, my location, and marine, it says it's off. And then down at the bottom it says get forecast. So at the top we're going to hit on the basic and here it gives you forecast type basic or premium. Now I'm gonna go in and just show you premium because they both give you similar weather. The premium just gives you more information, more days. So let's go and select premium and then my location. Now, if you want here, you can change this and you can go and use map, my location, waypoints, and you can pick out a lot of things and get weather at those, those areas or cities. I'm gonna get back out of this. And so it says premium, my location, and then get forecast. We're going to get forecast. Forecast is updating. All right, there was a beep. That beep uh, was, is one message and it says it's updating. Basically, it's going to the satellite saying, hey, I want to forecast. When I get to forecast, it'll be two beeps. So we're going to see how long it takes to get that. Two beeps right there. All right, now there are eight days, seven or eight days of weather. If I go on down, you can see all the different days and if i were to click on the last day it says hourly forecasts are not available I get back out of that go up near the top first second third day somewhere in there i think we're supposed to maybe get some snow i'm not sure yeah i think snow maybe on monday it's kind of hard to tell out here oh man sunday also all right so i'm going to click on monday and then you can get the hour by hour it's not hour by hour it's every two hours and then if I click on that, then it gives me more information from temperature, what it feels like, precipitation, all the way down to humidity and pressure. And it says Sunday at 9 p.m. All right, that's the premium weather. And then at the top, you can see it has precipitation on the left. And if I arrow to the right, then it just gives information. What it tells me here is, is premium weather. My location is today, 823. It gives my time zone and it asks if i want to update the weather i do not all right we're getting back out of that now let's go to active weather data request failed check connection and try again okay this is a great point about the active weather i just forgot about it in order to get active weather you have to be in cell service or wi-fi I am not in either one of those, so I cannot get active weather. If anybody from Garmin is listening to me, I really wish you could get active weather when you're outside of cell service. Because when you're way out, as a lot of people are when they're in outdoor adventures, you could be floating a river, rafting, kayaking, you could be up on a mountain someplace, and you're outside of cell service, and you cannot get the active weather. And a big storm with lightning and hail might be coming in, and that active weather would give you greater information and show you that stuff so you could see when to take shelter. I really wish Garmin would fix this, and maybe they'll listen to me. Not sure about that. All right, the last thing is to look at weather on my smartphone. All right, so in this case here, I could go to the Explore app, and get weather and then the explorer app you have to go to devices so you can see right here my gps map 67i and it has the weather icon here i click on it my location 12 feet away i guess that's the extended forecast i can hit plus then it says again my location i'm not going to change that it says basic you know what i'm going to hit basic right here just to show you the difference one what it looks like to get it on the phone and what the basic looks like so I'm getting the forecast. It's sending the request right now. There was one beep that should be going up to the satellites. There's two beeps coming back from the satellite. It says my location received basic forecast. And it says the date 13 feet away, 827. 
So I click on this and here's the forecast. Let's see what all I can do. So here it gives me every two hours, nine, 11, one. And if I click on that, then it gives me maybe slightly more information at the top. It says, feels like. Down at the bottom, I can go and, well, there's, see, here's the difference in the basic. It gives me today, tomorrow, so today and tomorrow, and then Monday and Tuesday. So it gives me four days. If I click on the fourth day, it does not have an hourly forecast. The third day, it does not. The second day, which is tomorrow, it gives me the hourly forecast or every two hours. This is what's different between the, the premium and the basic. You'll get three days of hourly or two, every two hour forecast. Here you only get on the basic, you get two days. The other thing I'm not seeing is that additional information on the premium it said precipitation it said well here it says feels like but it gives the millibars the pressure and i think it gave the wind direction and speed so that was on the premium weather now we're going to get back out of here and i'm going to double check now okay this is something that just happened i, I clicked on the explorer app to get weather but when you have your phone synced to the messenger app and the device sync to go to so it uses the messenger app there's several good things about that the messenger app will transition from wi-fi to cell service to satellite service without you doing anything the other thing though is if you think you're going to go to the explorer app to get weather you won't it's going to send you over to the messenger app now you still need to go into the explorer app if you want to look at maps or to create a course now you can do that on the device itself or you can do it on an app, but it has to be the Explorer app. But if you're going to message SOS or get weather and do check-in messages, you need to do it from the Messenger app. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the premium weather on this. I hesitate to do this because I think it costs a dollar for each premium weather forecast. So I'm going to select the basic forecast here and then it's gonna say, well, here it is. It says basic extended marine plus basic and marine plus extended i want extended now i'm going to hit get forecast and pretty quick i should hear the one beat going up to the satellite re and requesting it and then two beeps when i receive it there's one beep we just sent it to the satellites waiting for response for the forecast it says basic but i had picked extended or premium there's two beeps i just got received extended forecast now it says my location 11 feet away extended forecast i'm going to select it now again it's every two hours if i select at 1 p.m today it doesn't give me any additional information but then at the bottom when i look at how many days there are it goes all the way out for about seven days and on friday it says 70 percent chance of snow 1.97 inches that's nice nice to know that let's go back and let's say look at monday there's 0.39 inches of snow forecasted tomorrow on sunday and on monday there's 50 percent 1.97 inches on monday let's select monday and then i can see hour by hour what's going on and if i pick a time okay that's great it doesn't give me it doesn't give me anything but it just shows me all every two hours what's going to happen now, one, one thing that was nice, and I, I'm not seeing it here, and leave a message if you know how to do this, but I am not seeing the extended information. It's not as extended days, but when it said on the device, precipitation, pressure, you know, wind, direction, it doesn't show that here. If I'm missing something, leave a message. Let me know. If you have any other tips or advice, also let me know. And constructive criticism. I like positive, constructive criticism that helps me out. So really, go ahead and leave a comment. I respond quickly, and sometimes you learn something, and sometimes I do. Thanks for joining me here on HikingEmergencyBeacon.com, and please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put up new videos. And I'll see you back out here in Colorado in another video.